Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is National Lipstick Day. So I thought that I would come on here and show you some of my favorite lipsticks. But the first thing I wanna do is tell you where you guys can get your free full-size lipstick. Unfortunately, this year it's a little different. I guess because of the whole thing that's going on in the world right now, companies probably can't afford to give out a full-size lipstick just like that. Uh, back on last year, the year before National Lipstick Day, you could go to certain stores and get the full lipstick free of charge. Not anymore. So a couple of the companies, well, I, I guess a lot of them are having their free lipstick, but with a purchase. So I'm going to tell you where you can go and how much you have to spend to get the free full-size lipstick. So MAC, you have to make a $30 purchase and you can only choose from three different colors, which are, the shades are Marrakesh, Lady Danger, and Dubonnet. I have no idea what they look like. I didn't bother to look them up. I don't really care for MAC lipsticks. I have some back there. Uh, the only one I've ever liked was the red one, Ruby Woo, and that's super drying for me. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful red, but it's just really drying. I bought those other three back there uh, in a set that I got from Macy's, and I really honestly just really don't like it. And I understand that Russian red is a color Madonna used to wear back in the days. It's not for me. So good luck with those MAC lipsticks if you want those three, sh one of those three shades don't forget you have to spend $30. Uh, the company Becca, you have to spend $50 to get a full-size Ultimate Love. They're bugging out. <laughs> $50. You can just go pay full price for a lipstick that you actually want. Why would you spend $50? On, I mean, unless you're in the market for Becca products. I mean, I use their foundation. I like it, but I'm certainly not going to go buy $50 worth of product when I can spend $15 to $20 on the actual lipstick. So that, to me, is not a very good deal. Um, Urban Decay is giving away a free Vice lipstick. I have several Vice lipsticks. I like those lipsticks a great deal. I don't wear them so much now because you can't really wear uh, regular lipstick with your mask. It transfers and not so good. But Urban Decay, you have to spend $25 and you get a free full-size uh, Vice lipstick. And I recommend that. I mean, if you can't go wrong with Urban Decay products. You get yourself a little uh, eyeshadow or something and, and then you get free lipstick. That's You can't beat that. Uh, ColourPop, which I like their blur lipsticks, which I'll show you when we swatch my favorite colors. Um, they're having a 40% off sale. So while you're not really getting a free lipstick from them, you get the 40% off sale and it's you got to go on the website. I mean, right now, I guess because of what's going on in the world, they don't have as much variety with the colors that they normally have. It, they seem to be out of stock of out of a couple of things, but I really like the, it's hot in here. <laughs> it's, my brain's not working. I shut the fan off uh, because it makes a lot of noise. And thank God for my mother. Cheers to you, mother. She made limbe. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Um, we're Puerto Rican. Mm, aren't we lucky? And, um, Limba is a coconut icy. I'm not going to go into what's in it because get your own Puerto Rican mother. I'm kidding. Uh, but it's delicious and refreshing and I'm waiting for it to melt a little bit so I can have it. And this will be nice and cooling for me uh, in this hot, hot room. Uh, but anyway, I digress. I Colourpop is the 40% off. I actually put a couple of things in the shopping cart this morning because they have some cool stuff. I like their little blurring lipsticks. Um, not good for wearing with a mask, but cute if you're going to be someplace where you don't have to have a mask on, which I don't know where that would be now. Um, and lastly, Maybelline. When we swatch my favorite colors, um, I have a lot of lipstick, but I'm only going to swatch a couple in, in each category, like a couple, in, I promise, a couple in each category. Um, but when we get to the swatching, you're going to see that I do have a lot of the Maybelline, which you can see right there. Um, these bad boys right here. I love, love, love them. They can be, um, they're inexpensive and you can usually find them on sale. And that's why I recommend, again, to anybody listening, download the CVS app because if you're shopping at CVS, maybe Rite Aid, 
Walgreens. I'm sure they have um, apps, modern age, everybody has apps, but I just, I can only speak for CVS because I've had experience with the app and the app is great and you will get, um, you can get money off of just makeup in general and then you can get makeup off of Maybelline products, L'Oreal, Revlon, all of that, pharmacy brands. And often they have the $3 off of a $12 purchase. And the Maybelline, um, what are these things called again? I always forget the name. The Superstay Matte Ink. Those are these guys. Um, these little guys here, the rectangular little. They tend to be like $9 to $12 depending on where you go. Um, so always wait for the sales and, and try to combine things. If you have free bucks, sometimes you walk out of there with like a $3 lipstick and it's worth it. Um, they go on nice and creamy. They dry down beautifully and you can wear them with a mask. I purposely do it every day just so that I can see I'm not talking crap on YouTube. It actually does work. There are others I'm sure that work the same, but these bad boys don't move. They're actually very difficult to get off. Uh, you, you gotta use some type of oil to break them down. Uh, the wipes work as well. You just get a little rub a little bit. I don't really like to do that, but um, I recommend them. So we'll be right back. And I uh, got the hair down by the way. Ooh, you like the hair? It's so long. Let me stand so you can see. Oh, you like my Ren and Stimpy shirt? Yes, I know you do, uh, Ren and Stimpy. I was obsessed with them in high school. So the hair is very, very long. It is unnaturally long. Like I can't even take it anymore. And I feel like the hair tries to kill me in my sleep. I'm not even kidding. I, I kid you not. I, I turn over at night and I have to swoop the whole thing. And honestly, I feel like I'm starting to get into Carol Baskin territory. And that is disturbing. Oh my God, I have cats on my ear. I, I don't want to be Carol Baskin. Let's take those off before people start thinking I killed somebody. So I am going to pull this Carol Baskin-y hair out of my face. And when we get back, we're gonna do some swatches. Okay guys, so first color I wanna do is, um, these are my favorites. I, you may disagree, you may have, uh, we all have our own favorites. I just wanna show you the ones that I really like in certain, um, in the color categories. I'm only gonna do four categories. I have my uh, pinks and berries. I only have a couple there. I have my reds, which red is at my absolute favorite lip color. Absolute favorite. Um, that might be the Latina in me, but I just, I've always loved red, all kinds of red, especially blue reds. I love, love, love them. I have my nude mauve colors and I have my uh, reddish orange colors. I kind of could put them in with the reds, but um, they kind of, yeah, I guess I could put them in with the red, but they, I separated them because they have a more of a um, lean, they lean a little more orange, but so let's, you know what, let's do, ooh, let's do the, the pinks first. Let's get those out of the way. Cause I'm not, I'm not going to put them on uh, today. I'm not going to put on pink. So I'm going to start with the pinks. I have three in my favorites category for the pinks. So the first one I want to show you guys is by ColourPop. This is their color All Tea. And I think this is one of their, yep, it is one of their Velvet Blur lipsticks. I think I got this uh, when ColourPop was having a sale. And I just want to show you, uh, mine is like a little messed up right now, but I don't know if you can see um, the little stars, how absolutely, I don't know if we could really see that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you see the little stars, so cute. The little attention to detail, stars on the outside. Uh, a beautiful pink, I love it. It's very, very cute. And the blur formula, I really like a lot. So I'm gonna swatch that so you can see what that looks like. You see how it comes out kind of sheer and you could build it up a little bit, which is what I do. But I love that color. It's called All Tea. They sell it directly on the website. Like I said, they're having 40% off right now. And you can get this at Ulta, and Ulta often has their ColourPop on sale. So you can't go wrong with that. My next uh, favorite in the pink and berries category is by Dose of Color. And this color is Talk is Chic. I didn't even realize that was the color's name, honestly. I think I've worn this once since I got it. And this might have been a purchase that I made during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And if you don't take advantage of that, you're crazy. You gotta get down with that because the 21 Days of Beauty, you know what I do when they send out that 
uh, notification when you get the the letter, the, not the letter, the magazine, and it shows you how they're breaking everything down. I go into my calendar and my phone and I make a notation at eight o'clock in the morning. My alarm will go off even though I'm up already. It's a reminder, hey, you got to go to Ulta today or at a minimum go on the website and order this product. This was one of my notifications on my calendar uh, because those of, pro those of colors are like $18. And I think I got them on sale possibly for nine. It might've been 50% off. So this color is really, really pretty. I really liked that. I got a, a bunch of them that day, but I really like this color It's in the nice pinky family. And you can see how beautiful that is. That is really lovely. This dries down really great. And you can use that with a mask. Absolutely. Um, the next one, I guess I could have put into the nude category, nudie, mauve category, but I'm going to put it in the pinks. pinks. It's kind of lavendery pinky. This is from uh, Maybelline. This is one of the Superstay matte ink that I'm constantly talking about. This is in the color Lover. And I think I, the price is on here. I paid, well, it says $9.69. I probably did not pay $9.69 for this, but that's what it's going for in the pharmacy at the time that I bought it. And I guarantee you that I got, um, sorry, there was a notification that drives me nuts. Um, I guarantee you that I got this cheaper. Guarantee, because I keep my husband quiet by looking for sales. <laughs> this is like, don't you have enough makeup? Never. Um, okay, so that is it for my favorite pinky berry colors okay so we're going to move straight ahead and i'm going to jump into my red oranges because i only have two in that category i have like i said lots of lipstick these are just my absolute favorites my go-to's the ones that i reach for often so the first one again to nobody's surprise is another maybelline superstay matte ink i i cannot talk about these enough they are fantastic 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 products they actually recently uh, came out with a coffee themed version of these. So they're like in uh, different shades of, of browns and I think four, four colors. I saw them in a CVS out here and for the life of me, I cannot remember what CVS it was and I'm going nuts. I'm probably going to have to order them online because I wanted to get them in the store so I could save money. I can't remember where I got them. That's what happens when you get old. You're like, where am I? I don't remember where I was. So this color... Is called heroin and it is in the red family but it leans orange which is why I really really love that a lot and it goes on very creamy see how what I'm talking about it, it looks sheer but it's not you get it on your lips it dries down really beautifully um, love it love it love it again probably got that on sale because I'm not paying full price the next lipstick that I have is a bullet lipstick and it is probably my absolute favorite lipstick that I own. And that's saying a lot because I, this is not even, this is for like decoration for you guys to see. I, I have a lot of lip product and I have to say, for me to say one is my absolute favorite is saying a lot. And again, it's in ColourPop. They win all the time. I, I, I order from them. I don't even care how long it takes to come. It is worth it. I wait happily. I still have to watch that Netflix uh, special they did to show you how ColourPop, I don't know what it's called. Google it. Uh, they did something on Netflix about ColourPop and how they make their makeup. I have, still have to watch that. My cousins watched it and I got to watch it. Uh, but this is from their Villains collection. Look how cute that is. And I got the color Cruella. I love this color and it's an orangey red it leans orange on the lips and I don't know if you could see that but the word villains is on the lipstick it is adorable but it wears well it dries down beautifully it's comfortable on the lips I love this color I love how it looks with my skin it's out of stock right now I think all of the villains are out of stock right now I um, hit the button for them to email me when it's back in stock because I think I'm going to buy the whole set even though some of the colors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I do like this formula so much that I'm like you know what I'm going to get the other ones because it's always nice to have uh, a variation colors especially when the fall comes and Halloween my favorite time of the year 
Um, so I am definitely going to get it, and I hope that ColourPop gets them in soon. So that was my orangey colors. And I'm going to leave the reds for last because the reds are my favorite. And then I'll pop one of them on. So the, the nude Morvi ca uh, car um, <sighs> category is probably going to be a little controversial in that I have one product that everybody's going to say is canceled and I shouldn't be using it. But you know what? I paid for this. I'm going to use it. I like the formula. I like the company. I might not approve. I Well, I don't approve. I'm not going to say I might not approve. I don't approve of a lot of the things that uh, the owner of the company has done. And I'm hoping uh, for there to be some type of change. Um, having said that, my first favorite in the nude category is a Jeffree Star product. And say what you will about the man. But the makeup is unbelievable. No one can deny that. The, the, lip, the liquid lips are gorgeous. This is in the color Christmas Cookie. He has so many beautiful nudes. When they did the collaboration with um, Morphe, they did the little mini sets with the nudes, like his the best nudes that he has. Christmas Cookie is gorgeous. Um, it's absolutely one of my favorite nudes i love the way that looks look at that that's really lovely it's it's so nice so many nudes with my complexion are just really just too light and they look they look horrible on me it's like uh, like a death mask i look like my lips look ashy and i just really love this at first i thought this was going to be too light for me but it really it's beautiful i just really like it a lot um my next product <laughs> I think they're canceled because of the last guy, right? Uh, is a Morphe lip product. And believe it or not, I don't really care for a lot of Morphe products. I really honestly didn't even care for, um, I'm making sure the swatches don't transfer to my leg and my pants. Um, I don't really care for Morphe products. I, I bought that Brontor before, which I still haven't even used or tested in any way, or even, go I, I Googled it though. Anyway, I, I ramble. I don't really care for their products too much, but I did go to the Morphe store once and, uh, not Morphe store, where the hell did I get this from? Ulta. Went to the Morphe section and I was like, you know what, let me swatch some of their lip products and see. And a couple of them swatched nicely. So I was like, let me get it. And I ended up getting this color, which in the, in the, container in the you know in the whatever um I was like mm, it's okay this is in the color geez I can't see a goddamn thing um this is in the color true story I honestly I have to say I'm like a nostalgic person as you can see Rena Stimpy all the stuff around here I'm nostalgic I like things that bring back good memories and I did like the color, but I'll be honest with you, I really bought this color because of my cousin Mema. <laughs> because when we hung out back in the days, her and her brothers, they would always say true story, true story to everything. And it's I, I picked it up and I was always saying true story, true story. And when I saw the name of the I was like, oh, this is a nice color. When I saw the name, I saw I just like like had a moment of uh of um nostalgia. It brought me back to very funny times with my cousins. So Mama, this is about you, girl. But um, let me show you what it looks like. I want to swatch this because I did like it in the store. And I was like, this is a pretty color. It reminds me of the stuff I used to wear in the 90s uh, when I was in high school. So is that that's really nice. My swatches are disgusting. I have to say, so gross. But um, oof, and what is happening with that color? I, I swatched it the wrong way. It's like all over the place. But there it is. That is True Story Morphe. I think I paid nine bucks for this. Maybe. I don't remember. I didn't bother to Google that stuff. And the last two that I have in my nude category. <laughs> Maybelline again. Yes, again. I'm telling you, these Super Stay Matte inks, they are like a part of life now. <laughs> because while those are colors and all that they drive these are down these drive really really fast so when you're on the go and you want you, maybe you've done your eyes um get it on and go so the first one i'm just going to kind of do these quicker uh the first one i have is the color what is this i can't even see savant and this one is driver the 
beige one is driver and this is savant i'm just gonna quickly swatch these so you can see what they look like this is savant let's watch that Ooh, that's so pretty i probably could have put that in the berry category this is why i can't pick my own foundation i can't even tell the difference between a lipstick <laughs> and this is a uh, driver nice look at that beautiful 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 i love that i'm making such a mess i'm like smearing lipstick everywhere so that is my nude category and now we will go on to the reds so the reds again i will have uh two that are in the canceled category <laughs> in the canceled category but i bought them i'm going to use them and it is what it is so the first one is a Morphe product. Again, I think I bought this the same day as True Story. This color is called Hot Shot. I really like this color. It is similar to the ColourPop Cruella in that it leans orange. I am making a big mess. It's, it definitely, I mean, I know it looks bluey red, but it definitely leans orange. Um, actually, yeah, I should have put it next to it so you could see. I didn't swatch Cruella, did I? So let's take Cruella real quick and let's swatch her right next to it so you could see how they're kind of in the same family. So this is Cruella and that's Hot Shot. So different, but kind of in the same family. Um, next in my red category, again, Maybelline, shocker. Nobody saw that coming, right? Uh, this one is Pioneer. Pioneer is a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, very, very lovely. I'm running out of space, but look how gorgeous that is. What a messy murder scene that is. What in the hell? Like, use a different part of your arm. People at home are watching this video like, what is she doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's obvious, right? So this color, um, again, I, I don't have a sticker on it, but I probably paid nine, eight seven dollars for it i always wait for it to be on sale um this is also another maybelline product i think i only own two of these and this is the color red for me and i think i also own plum for me uh but this one is you have to see how this goes on it is so ridiculous like look at this bang gorgeous 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 dries down like a dream um, I think this might transfer though. So I, I got to test that. Um, I wouldn't count on this being uh, non-transferable. The, 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 the other ones are, duh, 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 what the hell is wrong with me? It's too hot in here. I better eat this icy. Um, I can only speak for the super stays. Those will not move. So my last red again is from the cancel category. Um, I'm not canceling. Um, this person, Jeffree Star, by the way, I'm not canceling Jeffree Star because at, at the end, <laughs> I, I don't feel like really getting into it too much, but I'm going to say this. Um, there's a lot of disgusting behavior in the beauty community. A lot of disgusting uh, behavior, period, point blank. I do not justify or stand by anything um, that Jeffrey has said or done in the past. I think it's disgusting, but I will say this. I think that all of us, including myself, have said things in the past that were disgraceful or you might be embarrassed that you behaved a certain way. You may have been raised to be um, ignorant about certain things and you had to learn on your own to be a better person. I myself have grown into a better person and learned uh, not to be so judgmental and things like that. His situation I know is a lot worse. He's accused of being a racist and all this other stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, how do you know somebody's genuinely sorry about something? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I, I would like to think that he is sorry. Just like I'd like to think that all these other people that do these terrible things and then they apologize. You want to think that they're sorry. A lot of it comes across very fake. I mean, honestly, the whole couch thing that it did, Jeffrey, what was that? That couch, by the way? No, no. You just need to throw some plastic on it and you're ready to be a Puerto Rican grandma. But anyway, I digress. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Jeffrey can evolve because his company is amazing. And I hope that he learns to put his company first. He said he was going to do that. I hope he does it. I hope he stays the hell out of drama 
because it, re- it would really be a shame to have to completely cancel him. I'm 45 years old. I don't have time to be canceling anybody. Um, I mean, I am boycotting Goya, though, but that's a whole other story. I'm not going to talk about that. Um, not here, anyway. That's, that's, I'm not going to get political yet. Um, anyway, so this is Jeffree Star, and this is the wifey color. It's kind of like a brick, brick red, I'd say. It's a brick red. That's the color I'll say. It's brick. Let's watch it right here. Mm-hmm. It is lovely, wifey. Honestly, I didn't even have to swipe it that many times. I just did. Um, I, it's not my favorite red from Jeffrey, honestly. Red rum is, but red rum is in a bullet and I'm trying not to swatch bullets. I think the only bullets I swatched here were, uh, the Cruella, cause that color is my favorite. And this is about my favorites. Um, no, you know what? Wifey is better than red rum. It is. I'll say that. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if this is your first time here, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notifications so that you get uh, notified whenever I upload a new video. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. The hair, by the way, is getting cut. So next time you see me, I should have a new do. And on top of that, I will also have contacts so we can actually start doing some makeup because testing these out today was a disaster because I can't see. So it's very difficult for me to put things on. I've said this before. So I have now transferred some of this onto my leg. So on that note, I'll see you guys next time.